Okay, here with part seven. Um, for these secrets, you could see how in the bottom left corner it says not yet found in current playthrough. So like I said, there may be some that I've already, like I've said a million times, I've done, done one playthrough already, but ones that I have not currently found, and it all depends on paths you take. So yeah, you're probably going to have to play this game three or four times if, if you're trying to collect everything anyways. But uh, 17 and 28, you ha you can't get it on the first try. 17 and 28 are like what we're doing right now. The curator's cut unlocks after you beat the game. Um, on the theatrical cut so either way you're gonna have to get these last two in a, at least a second playthrough which I plan on getting now we have all the the pictures I will still try to keep a lookout for you guys of where they are and um, so, so we're doing pretty good continue where we left off we just did this uh, tape cassette thing we are currently I think in the staff only part of the game coming up will be the blackout so we will need to get some things in that part oh there's something over here well, it says there was I don't know why it would have me just staring at this guy. What was the point of that? There's got to be something more to this. Sure don't know. That's probably what distracted me the last time. I think, yeah, we're ready to move on here. So, make sure you get everything before you open this door. How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Should be more than a few minutes. Where's everyone else? Well, if they're smart, they're walking down here as we speak. I'm about done. I can go round them up in a minute. <coughs> what the hell? <coughs> what was that? Aaron? You guys hear that? It's Aaron. Down there. Aaron? I, I, I can't get the door open. Get me out. It's OK. We're right here. Calm down, Erin. It's all right. I, I, I can't. I can't breathe. Try to relax. Slow, deep breaths in and out. I'm uh, concerned. Aaron? It's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? <coughs> you have to open the door. Move. Move, Charlie. <coughs> Feel around for a latch. Aaron? Feel around. Look for a latch, a hinge, anything. We need to break through this thing. Uh, guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. <gasps> Just take a look around real quick, even though it's an emergency. Kate, hurry up. See if uh, maybe there's a oblong or something somewhere. Definitely <laughs> not helping my friend. Right? Wait, what's this door? This is the one I think I was. 
trying to get into earlier. <sighs> Huck. Nothing here. But I'm gonna go back in because there's probably, like always, something around here that's of interest to pick up, I would think. Guess not. At least not at this moment. Try not to waste time. Sometimes it's worth it to look around and you might miss something, but okay, we'll continue on with what we're supposed to be doing. It's better to double check. I couldn't find the inhaler. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't, um... Aaron? Aaron! Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. It's a closet, Charlie. Hmm. This is a little bit different. Might be because it's curator's cut or something. Ah. There you are. I wonder what's become of Erin. She just disappeared. I think Jamie especially is having a hard time with it. They certainly connected, didn't they? Now where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops though, and a good thing. For the road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Yeah, I'm sure there's a simple explanation. This place is like a maze. She just turned around somewhere and... And screaming her ass off? You all heard her. Something bad has happened. You don't know that. Bullshit. You just don't want to let this shoot go, Charles. I, on the other hand, have no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this island. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark. Come on. We find her and we leave. You're jumping to conclusions. Mark, I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. I'm going to find Aaron. Right. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Erin is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? 
Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. We're gonna run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron, too. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Demet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Aaron has disappeared. How can you not care about that? I can care about more. Okay, I feel like <clears throat> maybe because it's the curator's cut that it skipped the uh, scene with Aaron, but there will be a situation where you have a choice to take the inhaler. Make sure that you take the inhaler. And uh, yeah, I'm a little bit confused on why that happened, but definitely make sure you take the inhaler if you're uh, in that situation because now I think I'm in the blood trail section of the game which we have to find a picture a premonition down here in the lobby I believe and a business card is coming up so what else yeah just make sure in that chapter which I don't know why it skipped it might just maybe because I have it on the forgiving difficulty too possibly but it's the uh kind of weird that that happened but anyways more than one thing at a time wow you know working this job has made me really understand already, what a sociopath is well our show is this. educational <sighs> asshole what the fuck is happening charlie I'm gonna wrap around. Should be okay to go down here. What happened here? I no idea. Okay, I believe it's this part where, right here next to the sofa. I, I thought I picked this one up in my first playthrough, but. Aaron, can you hear me? Can you warn me before you start shouting? I don't know why it's not. Okay, I did find one. So that doesn't count towards mine. I'm still missing one, but I'm starting to freak out. We barely looked. Yeah, but she's been gone a long time now. Aaron! But all we know That should be your guys' second one. Sorry, I I'm trying to talk, but um it's hard to over them screaming at each other right now. So yeah, that'd be the second business card you need to find. We won't have to worry about one for a while, so that part is Done, we can check that off. And on floor by the wall. Oh, uh, she and do met her outside having a smoke. She has asthma. She's right not here. smoking. You know what I mean. We'll find her. It's your premonition cured, so make sure you get that. Those two are probably the most important anyways of what if you're looking for items. Do a quick double check around of what's going on. That door's locked. Try to uh I'm sure there's nothing in here except that postcard, but just in case. Not even worried about it.
You leave my script alone. That's our Bible. Of course you equate your notes to the word of God. Power's probably still out on this thing. That's all that is. Switch. Still need to check the breaker. Should be good to go through the store. Hey, Charlie, come here. Look, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's paint, isn't it? No, it's not fucking paint. It's blood. Blood, Charlie. You're jumping to conclusions. Or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. first met Agent Monday on October 12th, 1997, at O'Hare Airport when I was assigned to welcome him off the plane. I'd actually met him once before at a lecture on criminal behavior given a few weeks prior here in Chicago, but I doubt he remembered me from that. I was pretty nervous as the new kid on the block. I was just out of training, and I'd been assigned to drive around this big shot criminal profiler who just cracked the Arkansas case, which was all over the national newspapers. My first impressions were that he was tall. Okay, I don't know if I accidentally backed out of that or that if it was just done, but make sure that you come back there and find that secret. All right, dude. Back up, man. All right. What's going on here? And from there to the right make sure you grab that send you down this way Double check, make sure we got just inspected that glove. I think we should be okay to continue through here. I'm gonna go for it. You hear that? Please help the fuck. Are you? I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? 
What the fuck? Stop! Look! Oh, it's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate and this guy is getting run through by that thing. Him. The mask? What the hell was that? Are you shitting me? We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped? What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Okay, this is kind of an important part coming up too. If you're trying to get all the inventory items, which, like I said, I'm not gonna be able to do because sometimes you have to have some people dead. Either way, she's gonna take the crystal, I believe. But uh, it's something written down here about it. Mm. Just make sure that you uh. Go ahead and take the crystal. Spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take... Yeah, you want to use the... So sorry, I keep cutting it off, but... Uh, you want to use the hard, use the hard choice when he comes up to her talking about taking the crystal. Just do it where you choose it with your heart. Responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job. Not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully, because it would be. Wait, I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first and making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, I'll be tender. Things were already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. 
I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. Nice and tender. I, I just, uh. What do you want me to say? Oh, confident. Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right, I get it. We better go. Let's find Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? I don't care. Well, she... I'm more interested in finding Aaron, which I'm sure Charles is not concerned with. Why do you call him? It must be the forgiving difficulty or something that that situation, just like the inhaler, she's automatically grabbing an inventory item. So, but I'm not going to complete that this playthrough anyways. Like I'm not pretty sure but uh there would be a situation where she decides how she's gonna take the crystal either way it just skipped that it must be curator's cut or forgiving so that's the second time that's happened but just make sure you get that crystal what? Charles? use the hard choice it, obviously anything in this room Who's going around locking these doors? Do you think it's intentional? Maybe they just lock when they close. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and... That's when, it, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now. Charlie! <laughs> 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 I can't hold this. It's, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. That has to be the way to have. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Okay, I will stop it for here.
and uh, see you guys for part eight.